if you're not scared of holding a balloon before watching Daisy in the Sky, you may be afterwards. However, if anything does happen, your friends are there to help you. This is kind of the narrative we have with Daisy in the Sky, which is the 17th episode of Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. As always, I am reviewing these, or discussing these, for two reasons. One, I'm a big Disney fan and just cannot resist. And the other reason is that I like to analyse these to see how educational they are and how much they could benefit a younger viewer. And most of them are pretty beneficial, very educational. This series, I think, is absolutely fantastic. This episode is not as great, it's still good, but it's not um, as educational, we don't learn as much. There is a moment where Pete asks for um, payment through basketball, which is very peculiar, but it's nice to know that there are other currencies other than just money. And then there's a moment of counting surrounding a Ferris wheel, so we do have some maths going on here. But ultimately, I think this episode might actually make some children scared to hold balloons because balloons are very um, awkward objects. Some children love them, some children hate them. Daisy ends up flying away because she's holding too many balloons and presumably these are helium balloons and they carry her up into the sky. And then suddenly several of the other characters are clinging onto her to try and drag her back down but the helium balloons are so strong that they also drag them up as well. That would have made me terrified as a child. I was scared of everything when I was younger, absolutely. Um, not balloons, I wasn't scared of balloons, but if for one second I thought that holding a helium balloon could carry me into the sky, I might not have done it. Having said that, big fan of Mary Poppins, maybe I would have used it to try and fly. So it could have been um, the exact opposite. So in a way, um, I think this could also be quite quite scary for very young children if they think that one of their favourite characters is in danger. This is certainly the first time that I've kind of got this concept from this show that there could be a potential um, strong emotional aspect where they actually fear for one of their characters because of course it's dangerous. Daisy is flying high in the sky and children can often be scared that something bad is going to happen to one of their characters even though as adults watching it we know that this will resolve itself by the time the episode is up so it's certainly kind of an emotional episode for young children depending on of course how they feel about daisy and how they feel about balloons however the balloon aspect does make it fun balloons as long as you're not scared of them are always fun when you're a child they're bright they're colorful you can do all kinds of arts and crafts with them we made a paper mache mask out of a balloon once, which was um, a very odd class project. So that's something that some children will enjoy. I think this episode will definitely depend on the outlook you have and whether or not you're timorous. I think it would have scared me as a child or made me feel, you know, a little bit apprehensive. As an adult watching it, I didn't get much out of it, which may sound obvious because there are I'm 30 years old. This is not aimed at me. But there are some episodes where I find them really enjoyable from the Disney perspective. The characters do really interesting things. We get to see certain beloved characters um, in, in this CGI style, which is always interesting. But for me, I just thought, thought, thought it was... I was trying to say found in thought at the same time. I thought it was kind of a middle-of-the-road episode. It wasn't that exciting. It wasn't... It, it could be quite dark and scary for a young child who's scared of this kind of thing. Um... And it wasn't that educational directly. Obviously, all of these episodes have educational aspects in them. Teaching you about working together, making you try and work out which mouse tool is the right one to use. The interactive element is still there, of course. So I'm not saying it's not educational or beneficial. Absolutely it is. But there are some episodes where it's more direct. And you're learning to count. Or you're learning the names of colours. This one, we do actually get a bit of that. But not as extensive as some episodes. So for me, I didn't think it was that good. But that's me as a 30-year-old. But I'm also, you know, from an educational perspective, they could have done a bit more. It could be quite an emotional, scary one for some children, depending on what they're scared of. Daisy in the Sky is not my favourite at all. It's directed by Sherry Pollock, who's directed some of my favourites, so that's completely irrelevant with regards to the quality of the episode. And... We have our usual fantastic voice cast with Wayne Alwyn voicing the fabulous Mickey Mouse and Tony and Selmo as um, Donald Duck. Pete as Jim Cummings, of course, and uh, Daisy 
uh, is Tress McNeely and or McNeil. Daisy, I don't mind as a character. Uh, I'm, I'm sure there was one point where Donald called her beautiful. I don't know if I just heard it wrong or if that's what he said, but I thought that, that was very, very sweet if he did. It's rare that Daisy has an episode that focuses just on her, or with her as the main protagonist. So that is nice. It's nice that Daisy finally has a time to shine, as I don't... Apart, oh, there was Daisy... Um, oh, what was the episode called? The one where she does the dance routine for the talent show. I can't remember the name of the episode. It's probably something obvious, like Daisy dances. But either way, Daisy is not usually the main character, so... I thought that that was pretty nice as well. Daisy in the Sky, not my favourite episode, but obviously not a bad episode either. 